Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I will be showing you how to replace an engine on an Eashin 250. I had a collision uh, with the uh, pole that shows a flag, uh, basically the windage, and I had to replace the uh, the camera. I had to replace the camera because uh, the signal was coming through, but it was all black. So if you have an all black signal, um, then just replace the camera. And uh, the replacement camera is about 17 bucks. So uh, the aftermarket uh, camera, also made for Yashin, had a different slot connect on, uh, connector right there. And it's uh, rubbing onto that uh, capacitor right here. So. Hopefully, when I'm gonna put it all back together, it's all gonna be alright. Yeah, but that's uh, one of the fixes today. Another fix is the arm got broken, and the arm should come in today. And I will just put the new arm on, uh, place this engine on, and it should fly well. Um, I crashed it into the sand, and this this engine right here doesn't seem to be working extremely well. Uh, because uh, maybe there is a sand particle inside. I opened up the engine and I cleaned it. Maybe it's this one. Well, one of those two. I don't remember. It was uh, a couple of months ago when I crashed it. So, so yeah, new camera. It's going to be a new arm. And we want to replace the engine right here. Now, the problem with engine replacement is that the connectors are soldered. Unlike Valkyra, let's disconnect this guy. Unlike Valkyra, where you just uh, connect the connectors, uh, those guys are soldered, and uh, there is no simple, clear way to see which wire goes where. So, I guess we'll have to solder it a few times. So, yeah, let's see how it's going to be done. And I'm not going to be soldering it through this hole. I'm, the new engines are going to be sitting just like that. So, the new engine is the G-Force 2204. That's the mounting uh, bolt pattern on 2300KV. Uh, this is not a genuine Eashin motor, uh, but I'm pretty sure it should be all right. So, I want to see if the thread, if there's a difference in which way the thread is threading. Hold on one second. So, if I'm replacing this engine, unscrew it this way, right? Screw it this way. Okay, so, tighten, tighten. Yeah, okay. So, this seems to be correct. Okay, so... Now, we have to desolder. We have to desolder those three connections right here. And for that, we need the exhaust for the fumes. And I need the glasses. So let's see. All right. Alright, so the way how you solder it back on is that I have no clue because all wires are black and which one goes where, go figure. It's really hard to figure out, so. Let's see, maybe I'm gonna know the. Alright. 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 
Right, so it's probably like all the other drones, basically. If it doesn't work that way, you're probably just gonna swap it around and it's gonna work fine. I wanna open up the key shrink. All right, it says A, B, and C. But which one is A, which one is B, which one is C, is a kind of go figure. So, yeah. All right, I want to stabilize this uh, somehow, someplace, like that maybe. And let's see if we can just solder the cables. Now, before you're gonna solder the cables, you need to put some solder on top of them. So let's let me show you. All right, so we soldered the three connectors here, but before we're gonna put everything together, we need to make sure that this guy is spinning the right way. Let's see. Let's take it, turn it around. And uh, this guy should be spinning this way. So this one is spinning that way. So this one is spinning this way. And that guy is spinning that way. 
So we need to connect the battery. Alright, where is the second motor here? Okay, that's the second motor. Connect the battery. Uh, let me find the uh, mod. Wait, maybe I can tell you right away if it's the right way or not. Want to spin or not? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Welcome to Open TX. Switch warning. Alright, which one? B, this one. Alright, so we wanna switch it to Yashin. Select model, okay. Exit. Well, let's see. Binding, yep. Alright. Alright, let's see which way is this guy spinning. Um, it's hard to say. Um, oh man. Let me just connect this. Alright, so this is spinning this way and that's the correct way to, for it to spin. So, we confirm that uh, the motor is spinning the right way and we should be ready to fly as soon as we replace the arm right here and put it all back together. Alright guys, um, leave a like, subscribe and thanks so much. So yeah, the wiring could be either way, you know, it should spin. If it's spinning the wrong way, just flip the two wires, any two wires and it should work fine.